Hey guys, welcome to the next video on OpenCV tutorial for beginners using Python. In this video, we will learn how to draw different geometric shapes using OpenCV. So to start with, I have this code and I have already explained what this code does. So this I am read is used to read an image and then we are just showing this image into a window using this I am show method and then using the wait key we will wait for the closing event and the destroy all window will destroy all the windows which we have created so this we have already seen now let's say we want to draw some geometric shapes on this image so to start with let's learn how to draw a line on our image which we have read from this read function so what we are going to do is we will overwrite this image so we have already uh, created this image variable so what we are going to do is we will draw a line on the same image so i'm going to just write img is equal to cv2 dot lines and you can see in the suggestion this line method takes few arguments so the first argument is the image itself the second argument is the starting coordinates of point 1. The third argument is the ending coordinates of point 2. And then the fourth argument is the color. And fifth argument is the thickness. So let's use this line method and then give these arguments one by one. So we want to write to the image which we have read using this file. So the first argument is the image variable and the second argument is the coordinates. So the coordinates should be given in the form of tuple. So let's say we start with 0, 0 coordinate and the ending coordinates will be let's say 255, 255. Okay. The fourth argument will be the color and the color you need to give in the BGR format. So if you want to uh, give the blue color, then you can uh, just write 255 comma 0 comma 0 because first is the blue color, second is the green color and third is the red channel color. So if you specify here 255 in the first channel, that means the blue channel, then it's going to draw the blue line. If you give here 255 and then you make other channels uh, 0 then it's going to draw the green line and if this 255 comes at last and the other channels are 0 then it's going to draw the red line so let's say we want to draw the red line that's why I have given 255 here and the next argument is the thickness so the thickness you provide in the numbers so starting from 1, 1 is the lowest thickness. You can increase the thickness 2 or 3 or uh, let's say 5 or 10. So it's going to increase the thickness based upon this number. So let's say we want to give the thickness to our line 5. So this is going to draw a red line on our image. So let's run the code and let's see what happens. So you can see our image is loaded in the grayscale. That's why you don't see any color on the line, but our line is created here. So let's load this image in the colored format by changing this argument to one. And let's run the code once again. And you will see the image is loaded in the colored format and the line color is red. Now, if you want to change the thickness of this line, you can just increase this number. And if you want to change the color of this line, you can change it using these color channels. So let's uh, change the line color to uh, green, let's say. And I'm going to run the code. And you can see the thickness of the line is increased. And now the color of the line is green. Now, if you want to draw the line with any other color, you can just uh, go to your favorite browser and search for RBG color picker. But always remember our image will be loaded in the 
BGR format. So in the reverse order. So blue, green, and then the red channel. So let's say we want this uh, color here, and it's RBG uh, channels are this. So I'm going to just copy all these channels, and then I'm going to give these channels in the reverse order. So first of all, 147, then 96, and then third channel is the 44. And then I'm going to run my code and you can see you get the same color which you have chosen here. So this is how you can change the color of your lines. Now there is a function called arrowed line. Let's say we want to use this function which is called arrowed line. And this is going to draw the arrowed line as it says. So let's say we want to just uh, draw this arrowed line in uh, blue color. So I'm going to just give uh, the color channels here and then run the code. And this arrowed line is overlapping on the previous line. That's why you don't see the previous line. So let's change the coordinate of this line. So let's uh, draw this line in this coordinate which is going to draw the straight line in my opinion let's see what happens when i run the code and you can see it draws the straight line from uh, left to right which is the arrowed line and this was our original line now let's see how to draw the rectangle so to draw the rectangle we will do the same we will uh, just overwrite on the same image so we will uh, just say image is equal to cv2 dot rectangle which is a method and you can see what are the argument it takes so the first argument is the image itself the second argument is the point 1 and point 2 this point 1 and point 2 coordinate i'm going to explain in a bit the third argument is the color which is same as line and the fourth argument is the thickness so let's use this uh, rectangle function to draw the rectangle. So first of all, I'm going to just uh, pass the image variable here. The second argument is the top left vertex coordinates. So let me uh, just uh, draw something here so you will be able to understand in a better way. So when you want to draw a rectangle using OpenCV, this here is a top left vertex coordinates which is x1 and y1 and this is here the lower right vertex coordinates so the top left vertex coordinates you give in the second argument so let's give uh, some uh, coordinates here so 384, 0 and the lower right coordinates i want to give here is let's say 510, 128 so let's say we want to give the red color. So I'm going to just write uh, 0, 0, 255. And the thickness I want to give here is 5. And I'm going to just remove this because it will uh, just create problems. And now let's run the code. And you can see the rectangle is drawn with the red color of thickness 5. You can change the thickness of this uh, rectangle by changing uh, the value of the thickness and then you can run the code and now the thickness of uh, this rectangle line is increased now one more thing you can provide here is instead of giving the thickness value if you write here minus one then it's going to fill the rectangle with the color which you provide here so when we give minus one here let's see what happens so now we get the filled rectangle because we have provided minus one option here so if you provide minus one then your rectangle or whatever shape you are creating will be filled with the color which you specify here so let me just change the thickness to 10 once again and now let's see how we can uh, draw the circle so to draw the circle we once again use cv2 dot uh, circle function and once again you can see what are the argument which it takes so the first argument is the image the second argument is the center of the circle 
the third argument is the radius of the circle and the fourth and fifth argument is the color and the thickness once again so once again we will provide the image the second argument is the center of the circle so let's give the center of the circle which is the coordinate on which you want to uh, give the center so i'm going to provide let's say 447 comma 63 here and the third argument is the radius so radius we want to provide here is let's say 63 and the fourth argument is the color so let's uh, use 0 comma 255 comma 0 which is going to draw the green color and then let's give minus 1 here so our circle will be filled with green color and let's run the code and let's see what happens so you can see this circle is drawn here and this circle is filled with the green color now let's see how we can uh, put some text into the image so to put the text on our image we will once again use the image variable and overwrite on it and then we will uh, use a method called put text so this is the method which we are going to use the first argument is the image the second argument here is the text which we want to put so let's say we want to just print open cv on our image so we can uh, just write open cv as the second argument the third argument is the starting point of your text so you need to give the coordinates where you want to start your text from so the coordinates i want to give here is let's say 10 comma 500 and then the next argument is the font face so the font face you need to give here using a variable so i'm going to create a variable let's say font and then there are many font faces available using cv2 so you can uh, just write cv2 dot font in capital and you can see what are the options available here i'm going to choose uh, the first one itself which is font hershey simplex font and then we are going to pass this font uh, as the fourth argument the fifth argument here will be uh, the font size so let's say i want to give the font size uh, four here the sixth argument here is the color of your font so let's say i want to just draw 255 255 255 which is going to give us uh, a whitish kind of uh, color the next argument we will give here is the thickness so let's say i want to provide the thickness uh, 10 here and the next argument you can give here is the line type so let's say i want to give the line type cv2 dot uh, capital line underscore aa and now let's run our script and let's see what happens so you can see here open cv is printed in the white color of thickness 10 and if you want to change this color you can change it from uh, here so i'm going to just put the first channel as zero and now this color is changed to yellow color now one more thing i want to show here is how you can create an image using numpy zeros method so either you can use a image which you read from i am read method or what you can do here is i'm going to just comment this code and we can create an image using the numpy zeros method so i'm going to create this img variable and then i'm going to use the numpy module so just import this numpy as import numpy as np and then we are going to use this mp to call the zeros method now in order to create a black image using this zeros method you need to give the first argument in the form of list and inside this list the first uh, element will be the height second will be the width and third will be three so let's say we want to provide the height uh, 512 we want to provide the width also 512 and the third argument will be uh, three and the next argument you give here is the d type or uh, data type so you can just write np dot uh, u 
int 8 here. So this method is going to give you a black image of the size 512 by 512. So let's run our code and let's see what happens. So you can see now you can see the black image and on our black image the line is drawn, the arrowed line is drawn and the text and the circle and the rectangle are drawn here. So this is how you can draw different geometric shapes on your image. There are several other methods you can use for example cv2.polyline uh, method or cv2.eclipse method to draw eclipse and polygon on your image. So just try those uh, method to draw different shapes on your image. So that's it for this video and I will see you in the next video.